Day three, stop two on the Scooter Sense Almost World Tour, and we came into Port Hope because it's somewhat of a seniors community. So Dave said, do you know any seniors? And I said, do I know seniors? <laughs> the Lewis family, my mother's side, uh, I came out to support and gave me a bunch of food like seniors do. They like to keep you well fed. And a couple of them even tried the scooter, the BWS 125. We had my Aunt Judy and my, well, I guess her cousin, Glenn. Did you find it easy to operate? It's very easy to operate. It's just like riding a scooter. <laughs> I don't know. It's very easy. It's lightweight and it's just the gas is all you need to yeah. use. It's, it's fast too. It's, it's pretty peppy. I ride a motorcycle, so yeah, it's an easy transition to get to one of these things, that's for sure. You guys are obviously motorcycle riders and you were motorcycle riders growing up in the last 20 years. Is this something you could see yourself transitioning into? You know, as as you age a little bit more and things kind of get don't work quite as well. Well, I got two new knees, so maybe <laughs> <laughs> I, I can see myself not being able to hop over an ordinary bike. But yeah, I could see that. Okay. But even now, uh, you know, for uh, shorter rides, it's a fun thing to ride. I live in the country, and I can see myself riding this into town to pick up a few things and uh, just have some fun. <laughs> so, what do you guys think of the new Forerunner and the new scooter? Well, that's it from Port Hope. We're headed down to Toronto to meet up at the Toronto Scooter Club. See you next week.